Well, I think it's safe to say that we were spoiled with the sunshine for the last couple of weeks, but today, totally different story. Yes, we have a rainy Sunday on our hands. A good day to just kind of stay indoors, if you ask me. But there is plenty more of that sunshine in the forecast. We'll get to that a little bit later. For right now, we are dealing with a lot of rain across the mountains. Pinpoint Doppler showing that line of showers and storms moving across eastern Kentucky. And actually, over to the north and west there in Powell County, we do have a, you can just see it there outlined in red, we have a flood warning there that runs until 930. Some of these are producing rather heavy rain that could cause some flooding issues. So keep an eye out for that, especially if you're included in that warning. Some locations are also dealing with some fog this morning. Visibility down to two and a half miles in Jackson, half a mile up in Moorhead where they're also seeing that rain. So keep an eye out for that if you're headed out the door as well. Temperature wise though, we're doing pretty well. Temperatures ranging from the mid 60s down in Harlan all the way into the lower 70s up in Moorhead and Jackson. So if you have plans to get out and about, you're headed out the door this morning, definitely grab that umbrella because we are expecting to see scattered showers and storms throughout the day. And many locations are seeing some heavy rain this morning in addition to that fog in those other locations. So please drive carefully out there. As we go through the rest of your day, temperatures not going to warm up a whole lot. Topping out in the upper 70s later on this afternoon due to all that rain and cloud cover, not going to heat things up too much today. And we do have that rain throughout the entire day. Just a really rainy Sunday ahead of us. Let's go ahead and break that down for you. At 9 a.m., we'll see that line of scattered showers and storms working its way into eastern Kentucky out ahead of this cold front. As we go th through the rest of your morning, we'll continue to see those work across. And as we head into the evening hours, we'll finally start to see those work off to our east a little bit, but we'll still have a few isolated showers hanging back before that cold front completely clears the area. As we go through the overnight hours, still a spotty shower chance, but as we head into your Monday morning, that cold front will finally make its way off to our east and it is taking that rain with it, but the cloud cover will be around for just a little bit longer. Still mostly cloudy as we head into your Monday morning, but as we go through the day on Monday, we'll see those clouds clear as well. And by Monday afternoon, we'll be mostly sunny. Temperature wise, as I mentioned today, not particularly warm because of all that rain and cloud cover. We are actually right on par with where we should be this time of year. Our average high is 78, and that's what we're forecasting for today. Tomorrow, on the back side of that cold front, cooler, drier air, slightly warmer, but still fairly seasonable. And then as we head through the rest of the week, those temperatures continue to increase. And actually Thursday, for the first day of fall, we're going to be landing anywhere from five to 10 degrees above where we normally are this time of year. And along with those warmer temperatures, we have plenty of that sunshine. Rain is likely throughout the day today. Could see a straggler tomorrow morning, but tomorrow looks mostly dry and then plenty of sunshine in the forecast as high pressure settles into the region behind that cold front Tuesday all the way through Thursday and much of Friday. Our next rain chance arrives next weekend. I think that we did need a little bit of rain, but it's nice to see that there's still some sunshine on the way. You always got to love that sunshine. Oh, for sure. Well, thank you, Arden.